Greetings, salutations, thanks for joining me for another video. Today we have a video that's been requested for a while. I'll be doing a review of the Xped Mega Mat Auto. Now while this mattress is made for the Tesla Model Y, it does work with other Teslas as well as many other SUVs on the market. I'll also be comparing it to the self-inflating mattress from For My Tesla, which I did a review on back in September. So you're definitely gonna wanna stick around to see that. Now, so far, I've loved the comfort of the mattress from For My Tesla, but the one drawback has been how hard it is to roll up and put away. For me, it doesn't fit in the sub trunk and of course, not the frunk. And that's a real issue when space is limited. So today, we're gonna take a look at the popular Mega Mat Auto from Xped USA. One other thing to mention is Xped USA is a well-known camping brand here in the US and is carried nationwide in stores like REI or directly through their website, which I will link to in the description down below. They do sell internationally under Xped alone. I also got a chance to deal with a few members of their 16 person team up in Washington state. And they seem like a great group of outdoor enthusiasts who really care about providing great customer service to help you get the most out of your outdoor gear. All right, let's take a look at the Mega Mat Auto from Xped USA. All right, so the Mega Mat Auto is 76 inches tall by 52 inches wide at the top or 39 inches at the bottom. And it's about just shy of four inches thick. And it's made of an open cell foam technology that has kind of a honeycomb pattern to it. Now, from my understanding, this is very similar to the offering from For My Tesla, where it is mostly kind of a memory foam and then you have air pockets in between. So it shouldn't feel like an air mattress. And I can tell you from camping with the For My Tesla version, I have used that probably about seven or eight times now and it is super comfortable. The only downside when you try to roll it up because it's a little more rigid and the material's a little bit you know, stiffer, um, it just makes for a really tough time rolling up. I have heard of people being able to get it just enough to get into the sub trunk. I haven't even been able to get close to that. As you saw in my previous video where I reviewed the For My Tesla version, where I will make sure to link up here as well as down in the description below. All right, it comes with a hand mini pump where you'll be able to use to top off the air. And if you wanna get it a little firmer, the For My Tesla version does come with an electronic pump. So those are two differences there. And I will see if you can use the electronic pump with the Xped version. So without further ado, let's show you how easy it is to set up. All right, so let's uh, unbox it here. Now, as you can see, rolled up from the factory, it's super small, you know, compared to the other one from for my Tesla, you know, it's like a quarter of the size. Now, again, this is factory wrapped. The real test will be to see what they look like when they're actually just been used and then stored and put away. And we'll see what it looks like then. Weight wise, super light though. I believe you just unhook this. A nice little strap there. I'll take it out first. Um, all right, so you see a little carrying bag there. All right, it's got a little Velcro strap right here, which is kind of nice. So again, hopefully we can get it back inside there. All right, let's put the seats on the Tesla Model Y down. Now we're just gonna take this, take the strap, put that in the bag. All right, it does come with a little how-to setup guide. One through five on the left before use and then inflation on the right. All right, so on here, it does suggest that you unroll it and leave it out the first time for an hour. That's just the first use. So you're just gonna wanna do that. And then after that, uh, you just put the air in and I'll show you guys how to do that. All right, for demonstration purposes, we're not gonna leave it unrolled for an hour the first time. But as soon as I'm done with this, I will leave it uh, just laid out in the car for a while before I actually end up using it tonight. All right, so you can see the larger side goes toward the top like this. And you just unfold it and just scoot it up. All right, so as you can see, it's cut perfectly and shaped perfectly for the Tesla Model Y, but again, will work great with the X and I believe other Tesla models and even other just SUVs on the market. Material feels nice, definitely doesn't feel as thick or rigid 
as the uh, as the other one from for my Tesla. It's got a little bit of a softer feel to it, which I kind of like. But again, you know, the other one's very comfortable, but I think that's because of the material used. All right, so it is self-inflating, and I'm just going to go up to the top here, open the nozzle, let the air in, and it should take about 5 to 15 minutes, it says, and that's about it. All right, so right up here at the top, there are a couple nozzles. You can see this one is for deflate, and this one is for inflate. The deflate is a little bit larger, just so you know. And uh, so we're just going to do the inflate one. It's kind of nice how they just make it easy like that. And now it should start uh, filling up. I can actually see it right now filling up. So we'll leave it for about five or 15 minutes and uh, see how it goes. All right, so it says for the first time, allow the mat to partially self-inflate by opening the inflation valve and inserting the toggle attached to the inflation valve cap. Leave mat for at least one hour. Then inflate completely by using the mini pump and close inflation valve. Now leave the mat for 24 hours in a warm environment to allow the inner foam layer to recover to its full volume. This is just on the first time you ever use it. So I imagine as soon as you get it, you know, at home, just go ahead and do this the first time and then you can just roll it back up. It says if time is tight for this procedure, inflate fully using the mini pump and then use the mat. I will say that it did not inflate really much at all. It's supposed to self-inflate, it says, in about 5 or 15 minutes. And even granted, it said for the first time it's going to be about an hour. Um, it didn't really inflate at all. Um, it wasn't working exactly perfect, so I just put this on, uh, you know, put some air in it, and it seems like it's pretty good. I will leave it inside tonight for about 24 hours um, just to let it, uh, you know, like it said, let it rest when it's uh, inflated for about 24 hours in a warm environment the first time. And then tomorrow night I'll, I'll camp in it. All right, so I ended up having to blow it up with uh, this uh, uh, pump because um, this thing just works really quick. I didn't want to wait the full hour for it to self-inflate the first time. And, you know, I, I'm trying to film this video, so it says you can just use the pump to, to do it. So I ended up using this pump to make it go even quicker. And, uh, yeah, it's it's nice and firm. I could put a little more air into it I want if I wanted to, but I think it's actually probably a good feel. I do like how soft the top is. The For My Tesla one is a little bit more of like a hard rubber. Um, this one is definitely a lot softer. And I did test it and it feels really comfortable. And it's not as tall either. I think it's a little bit shorter, maybe like a half an inch or so. You can top it off a little bit more if you want with, with this um, or just get it to whatever you want, whatever setting you want with this. I will test it once I uh, actually camp on it. And then once I actually deflate it and put it away, I'll also test it again just to see if it does self-inflate a little bit easier this time. All right, so let's uh, hop on in, see how it feels. Yeah, I think I could probably put a little bit more air in. Um, it's pretty close to as comfortable as the other one, even just, just laying on it like this. It's so different than laying on like, you know, just like memory foam or, you know, I used to have like a workout mat underneath and then uh, memory foam. And then on top of that, I'd put the test mat. And this is just one solution that's just so much easier. Very similar feel uh, when laying on it to the one from for my Tesla. I am a side sleeper, so my hip will sometimes go, you know, pretty deep. And I can definitely tell that my hip will not hit, you know, on the bottom. It uh, feels pretty good, actually. And again, the material feels nice and soft. A little, definitely softer than the For My Tesla option. And the top does go all the way here to the very top. Um, and, I mean, unless you really put your elbow right on the edge, you're not gonna have any problems with, you know, the edge of it or anything like that. If you have pillows and everything right there, you're, you're fine. But yeah, super comfortable. I mean, and, and hopefully it uh, rolls up a little more compact than the For My Tesla version which it should, and you know, we'll see if this ends up being my new, uh, my new mattress for my camping travels. All right, here you can see the side of it. Yeah, like I said, I could probably put a little bit more air in. Pretty low profile, which I like because that gives you a lot more headroom in here. Here's a look from the back. You can see how it fits perfectly in there. It's shaped just right for the Model Y. But again, should work with other Tesla models and also pretty much with every SUV. All right, so far so good. Like I said, the initial self-inflation 
just didn't seem to work right. I don't know what was going on. I just wanted to get it blown up the first time to see how it'll work. Cause I think maybe it just might be the first time. Uh, cause it did say you're supposed to leave it out for an hour the first time when you, you know, unroll it. And I didn't have time to do that. So, uh, I ended up just using the electric pump, pumped it up in about 30 seconds. Um, like I said, I probably should have made it a little bit firmer, but overall, I mean, I couldn't feel my hip on the side or anything like that. And again, it's just shy of four inches uh, thick. So I think, I think it's gonna work pretty good. Again, I like the soft feel to it. It fits perfect inside the Model Y. And probably the biggest thing is, you know, putting it away. Is it gonna go just as small when you put it away? Obviously when it's factory wrapped, you know, it looks a lot smaller, but so did it for my Tesla one. So let's try this one. Let's try putting it away and uh, seeing how small we can get it. If we can fit it in the sub trunk or in the front. All right, so let's go up here and we're going to open the deflate. I can, okay, it's definitely coming out for sure. Take a look at it. Okay. Now, from what I've seen, we're gonna take it. We're just gonna start rolling it up like this. I can definitely hear it coming out. Yeah, I mean, it's, the material is so much softer than the for my Tesla. It's definitely gonna have the advantage, you know, when you wanna put it away. All right, so that's the majority of the air. Try doing this too. Yeah, I mean, it's already like a quarter of the size of the other one. And like I said, I think I like the softer material just for sleeping. All right, so now unfold it back up. And we're gonna fold it over. Now this is similar to the For My Tesla one when we just fold it over like this and then start rolling it up. Let me get the bag ready. All right, this is where you really want to get all the air out. And you also want to make sure that when you're rolling it, you're rolling it as straight as possible. That was another issue I had when rolling up the For My Tesla. It starts really moving and shifting because the material is again, quite a bit thicker, more rigid. Make it a little straighter. It's still hear the air coming out. That's pretty much it. All right, locked in, take the strap out. See if we can put that on there. See, make it nice and tight, and that's it. Way lighter, way lighter, way lighter, way easier to you know wrap up and put away, and it's much smaller. You know, the footprint is just like I'd say it's probably about hmm, probably about 30% size of the other one, which I will show you right now. All right, and then to put it in the bag. Take it. Take it like this. Then you just roll up the middle part, getting a little excess air out of there. Take one strap, then the other strap. Tie it nice and tight and voila, way better. 
it's not even comparable to be quite honest. You can see it's just like literally like maybe, you know, 30, 40% of the size of the other one. And this is me wrapping it up, you know, not factory wrapped. So the only issue so far I've had is just the self inflation part. Again, we'll see if that works a little bit better after I blow it back up then leave it inside for 24 hours. It says that's supposed to help the memory foam, the cell foam technology fully expand. So we'll see if it works a little bit better after that. Then I'm gonna, of course, spend the night in it. And I wanna make sure that I'm bringing the proper one with me. Is it this one or the one from For My Tesla? Both are great options, don't get me wrong. Uh, but it ends up just coming down to, you know, storage. And when you're traveling around in a Tesla like this, you know, you have a limited capacity of what you can bring with you. Yeah, but how easy is it really to put away? Because that's going to be the real test versus the For My Tesla option. Let's find out. Absolutely no problem at all. It actually would even go a little bit smaller if I needed it. Um, you'll definitely be able to fit it in the frunk, but uh, sub trunk for sure. And the frunk, you might have to just squish it down a little bit more on the sides. But that easily packs down and you get plenty of room for other stuff in here. All right, let's check the uh, frunk. No problem. Yep, easily fits in there. And again, if you have some extra room on each side, you can put stuff on top or put it underneath and then this will squish down a little bit. So yeah, that's awesome. All right, so got the XPED Mega Mat Auto all laid out and it's self-inflating right now. It should just take about five minutes. And then once that's kind of almost done, then I'll use this uh, little air pump right here. And I'll just put that in there and turn that on and it should take about 10 seconds. <laughs> so uh, almost done with setting up the bed. And yeah, this thing is one of the most comfortable beds I've ever slept on for like camping. And it's, uh, it's, it's just incredible. So definitely pick one up, but there will be a link in the description. So got the bed made, uh, yeah, we're all set. Got a little light up here, turn that on. All right, so now that I've got to test the XPED Mega Mat Auto mattress on a camping trip, what are my thoughts? It is amazing. I mean, I'm telling you, it does not feel like an air mattress. Well, it's not really. It's basically memory foam with air pockets inside. So you have more of a feeling of a traditional bed, even though it's only like a three and a half, four inch mattress. But the comfort is amazing. I mean, I could sleep on this for like a week, two weeks. In fact, I'm on a trip right now for a week and I've had no issues at all. And it's just been incredible compared to some of the other ones I've tried where I've had to use multiple different accessories to make it even work. 
This one, I only need one. So if you camp even a few times a year, I would highly suggest you pick one up for your Tesla Model Y and actually most SUVs. You definitely won't be disappointed. My only request from Xped is that they make a single version too. Like I have one that takes up the entire back, which is fine, but you know, like on this side, I end up just putting like my laptop on top of my camera and laptop bag. Then I have my Jackery up there. So it'd be nice to have that area all open and just have a single that still forms around the edge there, you know, that's made specific for the Tesla. And so if they could make a single version, that would be even more amazing, or at least give us the option. Other than that, I think it's probably the best one I've tried so far. And I honestly plan to use it for the foreseeable future. All right, well, if you guys enjoyed that review, please hit the like button and subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you in the next travel quick tip or review video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.